Jiro sent an email yesterday um, on these buy and sell zone levels. Um, this is all markets. This is universal. It's not just uh, the S&P. Um, I show the micros in the room. They chart really well. Uh, you can do the big contract also um, on the ES or the micros, MES. Um, I show the micros in the room, but they chart the same. They give the same signals at the same levels. Uh, so um, you can do what you want to do on your own charts. Uh, the levels that I gave you, I gave you the exact numbers. Um, I actually got the, um, I sent them out, uh, Gerald sent it out the email yesterday. The five sims, your best chart in this trading environment. It's a slower uh, moving market than a three sim. I mean, a, a slower uh, a Rinko bar. I mean, uh, the, to slow price action down, which we want. We want to try to get in these pullbacks at this zone. So these are buy and sell zones for the WPT trades. Remember, the reason we like the WPTs, we're trying to catch the wrongly positioned traders against overall trend direction. So these are, um, they're hitting the, hitting the uh, bids really hard. Um, the algorithm picks it up that we have counter trend traders entering the market really hard and fast into the market. That typically creates exhaustion points or turning points in the market with uh, uh, against overall ATR trend. So we start our ATR trend up this morning, we turn green, and then we get this pullback to the zone. Your best opportunities are going to be inside the zone or at the zone. So I've got on the five sim Rinko, you can take a look at it. There's a five sim Rinko, I go four days back. Um, if you look at my ATR that I'm using on the indicator, uh, the ATR I'm using a 45 as my first one. My speed period for the speed candles is 10. Um, you got four as your, I mean, see speed period is 10, speed candles four. I got the, uh, the DS period at 20. You can change that to 10 if you want more setups. It's a little bit more sensitive uh, on pullbacks. Um, I leave mine at 20 in the room. Um, your first link is 45. Your second link down here, ATR link is 38. So 45, 38. If you use a 3 sim, which um, I don't look at the 3 sim at all until 5 sim alignment on symmetry dots, on 25 symmetry dots. But if you do use that at all, um, you, uh, the zone is different. It's a 20, like 5 or 26 to a 30. Uh, the zone's like between 26 to 32, so I use a 26 to 30. Um, it's almost a 33, like a 26 to 33 zone. But I use um, 26, 30 um, is what I like to personally use on the three. You don't even have to even trade the three. You can trade off one time frame, trade off the five sim Simranko inside these zones um, uh, as far as that goes. So that's uptrend. Downtrend will look uh, uh, the, uh, the opposite. Um, you get inside the sell zone up here, uh, sell zone. You can see that that's a very small stop. Let it push into this sell zone. Let it push into this buy zone on the five sim. And you get very nice trading opportunities. What's happening with a lot of traders and um, that the feedback I've been getting, you're getting target one out pretty quick when you buy and sell in this zone if it doesn't blow through and stop out. So we want to keep, uh, we want to keep our stops real tight above. Uh, there's no reason to have 15 tick stops on these trades. So a lot of traders are trading between 10 to 12 tick stops. That puts you just right above the ATR after entry and right below the ATR after entry. Um, if you get at inside or at this zone, if you start trading higher, you're taking a little bit more risk on. The only time I look to trade higher off symmetry dots here, if you get a, a three sim at the zone on the three sim. Um, if you get that, you have confluence, and the trade typically works out really nice because you have a real small stop inside of the three sim zone. But I don't look at the three sim chart unless the five sim sets it up. Period. Um, but if you want to keep it simple, a kiss method, you can really just trade off the five sim by itself, not even look at the three sim, and then you're 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 good to go as far as that goes. Uh, you get these pronounced trends. Once well, some of these trends get going, we had one this morning right here. Look at all these sell zones. At three o'clock, one, two, four o'clock, two, three, four, right in the sell zones. They all hit. It's perfect trading this morning. So we got a few good ones here this morning. We got some singles and some. Here's a double that happened. First, second target hit. Um, we had a triple this morning. First, second, and third target hit this morning off of that one. Uh, but we want to try 
and get near these zones as, as close as possible, um, these buy zones, uh, because that puts us in a position to win. You're trying to get your first target off and go break even plus one because then you reduce risk. And then if you keep betting singles, all of a sudden singles turn into doubles, triples, and home runs. What we don't want to do is if we put our first target out too far and you have your first target, let's say, at 15 ticks, that's possibly not going to hit your first target off the first push. So what a lot of traders have been doing live with their live monies in their accounts, the feedback I've been getting and my own experience also is that 8 to eight to 10 ticks is a really good first target. Um, you can push it to 8 to 12. Sometimes you're going to get stopped out on the 12, uh, but it's usually 8 to 12 because this one right here, if you bought the zone, you're off on your first target now, and now you're break even, and you're trying to get the runner to run. That's the best approach that I found. Um, Sal, you've done really good this morning on your batting accuracy um, with your wins. He, he, he's done the same thing this morning um, also. So you members that are in the room this morning, uh, you know, some of these traders that are doing these live trades are using this first target um, and going break even plus one. I know Tina likes to do it also. I like to do it. Um, so you can you can learn from from uh, other traders on their 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 fills and what experience they're getting because you're trying to let the runner run. But if this thing stops out now, which the runner got stopped out, if it just got stopped out, then what happens is is that you don't worry about a loss on the trade because your break even plus one or your break even. So this one that if it fails, right, outside the zone, you're good to go. So the first target is key, what I found, what traders are finding that have the software, that are having success with the software. They're finding the first target is critical because the first target will allow us to go break even plus one. And then after break even plus one, you know, you get these extended giant moves like this this morning and all of a sudden this uh, sell turns into just a beautiful trading day with your ATM. The ATM, let's go over the ATM strategy. If you go, I get questions like this a lot. If you go to YouTube and look up Ninja Trader ATM strategies, there's two ways you can do this. I trade it two ways. I go with the break even plus one, then I got my target set. I also do the step up method and step down method. It's an ATM trail. Um, you can look how to do that under Ninja Trader strategies under YouTube. A play with both under SIM until you get to handle this. Listen, the easiest way to understand how to do this, buy these zones in SIM with your ATM set how you want to do it. Uh, and then once you get it down, um, if you're comfortable, like a lot of these shares are doing, then they start firing live trades at it. Um, and it's going to be the same exact execution. You know, it's going to be looking to get inside the zone to buy and sell because these are high probability with low risk trades. You got a very small stop. Very, very, very small stop. And, um, you know, with those stops that we do get taken out of, if we keep our risk low, the runners will take care of themselves. All right. So that's what we have found with the, all the traders that have the software. The first target is essential. If you use a step up target, step up trail, um, that trails you as price goes up. You can play with that on the ATM strategies, or you can do a break even plus one. I do both. Um, so it depends how you want to do it. Uh, you can do the step up trail and save it as a template. Or if you make it easy, just go break even plus one after your first target hits between that eight to 12 tick target. But that should be your range, eight to 12 targets in all these markets. Try to get break even plus one and then we're good to go. But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to buy and sell inside these zones for low risk opportunities. Okay, low risk opportunities inside these zones. The farther outside the zone you get, the higher risk you take, the more of a chance of a stop out. So if you, you're trading the three sim zone and you're trading way outside the ATR, you have a high probability of getting stopped out because the market likes to retrace back inside of these zone, these uh, WPTs inside these zone areas. Okay, so um, what I'm doing with the strategy, let's go over the strategy. Uh, we all have a strategy in our hands, members. Um, Tina actually ran a trade here. Was that successful this morning, Tina, on the... On, the, on your strategy. I think she got the first fill off and the runner. I don't know if the runner held or got taken, but um, the strategy, it will trade live for you. Um, what I'm doing though is, is I'm updating the strategy for a couple of things. 
I'm actually updating it where it's only going to look at buy zones and sell zones. So it's going to ignore, it's going to ignore price action way outside the zones. So it's going to, it's going to ignore all those trades. So you can, you can dictate what zones you want and you can put in what ATRs you want on what time frame you want. Like we have traders like Earl that trades higher time zones off the uni uh, uh, Rico bar, which is fine because the system works off the uni. So he may want to trade the strategy off his uni Rinko, where you may want to trade off our sim Rinko. So um, I'm, I'm going to put that into the strategy. Also, I'm putting the uni Rinko. It's a standard Ninja Rinko bar that's free to download if you want to try it. It's all over the internet. Um, Ninja has had it forever. But you can use that also if you want to. Um, uh, you can adjust what I'm doing with the strategy. You can adjust your zones. Adjust your zones uh, for, for automated trading also. All right.